Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, here to talk about two dish antenna designs. Dish antennas primarily used at microwave frequencies. You can find information about these and other antennas, as well as various aspects of ham and shortwave radio, in this book, due out in October of 2014. I have included a link to the Amazon.com page for this book in the description of this video. Here are the designs. The conventional dish design is shown up here at A. This is figure 7-11 out of that book right here. Provided that editorial changes don't change the figure numbers or something or chapter numbers, which can happen in publication. Here at A, we have a conventional dish antenna system. The feed line may be a coaxial line. It may even be a waveguide at uh, microwave frequencies. Some kind of a boom supports the antenna uh, feed element, which can be placed in the center of the dish like this, or slightly off-center. And you've probably seen some of those, those booms that come off of one side and then the the uh, feed horn is right down here and uh, the actual maximum then is skewed upward a little bit. Uh, those kind of dish antennas are commonly used for satellite television and satellite internet communications. Uh, the, old, the more old-fashioned and probably more uh, common among radio amateurs design is right here, the feed horn in the center of the dish like that. Uh, generally speaking, the diameter of the dish affects the gain, the directivity, and uh, the front-to-back ratio. And as you might imagine, the front-to-back ratio in an antenna like this is quite high indeed. But what happens, of course, when you transmit is the signal comes out, goes through this transmission line, out the feed horn, which is itself a specialized directive antenna, sort of like a flashlight or a lantern shines the radio signals, the microwave signals at this dish which then collimate or make parallel the electromagnetic wave fronts so they come off in a maximum like that and of course in reception the exact opposite happens parallel waves, parallel wave fronts come in they are focused and they go into this feed horn which is kind of like a little like a little, ref uh, like a little uh, telescope in a sort of a sense, or like a little microphone, depends on whether you like to think of light or sound, and then back out through the feed line like that. It's pretty intuitive, and uh, you've probably seen a lot of these, even if you're not a, a ham radio operator. Now, there's a different kind of, uh, of dish antenna design called the Cassegrain. Cassegrain design because of the resemblance to the Cassegrainian reflecting telescope. I happen to have a Schmidt Cassegrainian reflecting telescope called the Next Star 8. I forget exactly now who manufactures that thing, but it's a very wonderful little 8 inch Schmidt Cassegrainian reflector so that instead of a big long cylinder you can scrunch it down so that's about the size of a large waste basket sometimes they call antennas or <laughs> antennas <laughs> light antennas like that uh, light buckets well you might call this a radio wave bucket in a sense too the um, you transmit the signal goes out through the feed horn like this which is aimed right at this convex reflecting element this convex reflecting element is like a kind of like a half sphere and it bounces the energy back to the dish and then the, this is placed at the focal point right here of the parab uh, paraboloidal or spherical reflector and then the waves come out parallel just as they would from the design at, uh, at A. When signals come in parallel they come back and they hit this little spherical thing which is at the focal point and that directs them in a beam right into this feed horn and then through your feed line down to your receiver. So that is called a Cassegrainian system and the advantage of this of course is that 
your feed system can be affixed to the dish itself and therefore is structurally more sound that helps especially if your feed horn contains a little transmitter itself which some of these satellite communications dish antennas have uh, dish antennas if large enough can also work for moon bounce although rarely will you see a dish antenna for moon bounce at a frequency lower than 1296 megahertz in the amateur radio bands so this is a unidirectional antenna uh, it should be at least several wavelengths in diameter but the larger the diameter all other things being equal the more gain directivity and the better of a front to back ratio you will have you can have a solid metal dish uh, or if it's a very large dish it can be a wire mesh or screen you may see either type the Schmidt Cassegrainian or the Cassegrain uh, dish antenna design is used for very large dish antennas which as an amateur radio operator or aspiring amateur radio operator will eventually interest you particularly if you want to do moon bounce communications Stan Jabalisco W1GV saying 73 for now and so long